Aloha. Welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from the digital infrastructure network and the real estate within. I'm Buffy Harakitis of JSA, and joining me today is Paul Gamp. He is the CTO of Console Connect, one of the world's lead- leading network as a service providers. So welcome, Paul. Thank you, Buffy. Great to be here. Yeah, one important issue this year uh, for 2024 that Console Connect is covering is some of the challenges that IoT devices have been presenting. Can you give viewers a little bit more about that? Yeah, of course. I think all of us have thought about the internet-connected fridge, right? And you think, well, if my fridge gets compromised, then somebody will know that I'm probably eating too much ice cream at night. But if you were to think through if that's a medical device or a large manufacturing plant, the risk of compromise is really significant. Right. So at Console Connect, we started to think, okay, IoT devices are connected over mobile networks, and IoT devices now are typically sending their telemetry to cloud environments, Azure IoT, AWS IoT. So then we thought, well, Console Connect actually connects mobile networks, and we connect to cloud. So we can afford all of these industrial IoT devices, private, secure connectivity to cloud environments, and take away the risk of having IoT exposed to the internet. So we call it IoT Cloud Router. We think it's a really revolutionary solution to significant uh, industrial risk for IoT devices. Yeah, I mean, we were hearing so much about all these vulnerable attacks and things that are happening across IoT devices. So I think that uh, this is a wonderful way to help keep solving some of these challenges that IoT has been presenting. Indeed. Uh, Which leads us to, you know, expanding into the partner ecosystem and how you can uh, continue growing that area of Console Connect. Can you tell viewers a little bit more about your partner ecosystem and what you have planned for 2024 there? Yeah, so our partner ecosystem began, as you would anticipate, with the traditional network-to-network interfaces, or NNI, as we'd call them. And what we're seeing is that traditional network connectivity is not dynamic enough for the modern enterprise. Right. They want to be able to provision connectivity to new locations at a click of a button, like they can with computers as storage as a service or storage as a service. So what we're encountering is some of our partners are now capable of building APIs. So we're able to do deep integration, not just at the network layer, but also at the provisioning and settlement layer. And we have a couple of our great partners here with us this week. So we have Colt, who we've done a bilateral API integration with, and DC Connect. We also have a bilateral API integration. So in terms of our partnership, it's great to see that traditional wholesale carrier community embrace APIs and begin to provide the sort of automation that enterprise need. The second one that we've seen is uh, really exciting is that often there's an emerging type of cloud connectivity or cloud provider uh, that serves a specific niche. So we've all heard about generative AI, whether right. it be chat GPT, I'm sure mm-hmm. you've heard it, every interview you've yes. done. <laughs> And so there's an emerging trend of uh, cloud providers to service specific use cases. And one of them is our partner, Cato Digital. Okay. And their goal is to deliver bare metal, sustainable GPU compute. And so as a specialty organization, they haven't got all of the sort of software development capacity of an Amazon to build Direct Connect. So they partner with Console Connect so that we can provide Direct Connect to Cato Digital Compute. So for, I wouldn't call them tier two, but that second class of uh, specialized cloud providers are using our ecosystem to provide connectivity. And that's a great way the partnership's working for them. I think the third that's really important is the fact that we've now got a marketplace capability built into Console Connect. So if you're a storage provider or a compute provider or even a SaaS application provider, you can host those uh, product offerings in our catalog and gain access to the thousands of, enterprise e- of uh, enterprises in our ecosystem. So these are the three types of partnerships that are really starting to take off for us in 2024. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing better than a partnership to yeah. help expand and uh, keep the business growing for sure, especially with this ecosystem as it stands today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we agree. Uh, so tell me a little bit more about any of the trends when it comes to network as a service that you think are going to be 
uh, big in 2024? Well, in terms of our product capabilities, what I'm really excited about what we're launching in 2024 is, so we're a fully vertically integrated. Uh, we call ourselves a network as a service provider, a software-defined right. cloud interconnection provider. Uh, but we're really a combination of a 20-year-old global network. We're in the top 10 IP networks in the world, combined with this dynamic soft network as a service product offering. And so because we're that full vertically integrated, we can offer you transmission on demand. So this year, I think we'll be the first company in the world to actually allow you to log in and pick specific cable systems and provision connectivity across our cable system, which obviously underpins our IP network and, and cloud connectivity. So we're super excited about that coming to market. And the second thing that I think is really critical for us this year is that marketplace product offering. The okay. fact that uh, you're not just a, a source of connectivity, you can also be a destination of connectivity. So for those SaaS applications and emerging ecosystem of, of solution providers, because often enterprises are using connectivity as the first thing they look for, we've got adjacency to upsell and cross-sell as part of that transaction of providing connectivity. So that's really important. And then the emergence of the MEF and other standards around making it easier for us as a carrier community to integrate at the API layer, as I mentioned earlier with Colt and others. So I think that's key. I guess I would, you know, I've only said Gen AI once. I'm sure I've got to say it more than once. Um, the thinking about the Enterprises 2024 roadmap, uh, large language models. Okay. We all know that underneath chat, GPT is a large language model. Right. And we've probably all heard how risky it can be if corporate information accidentally makes it into a large language model. So it was almost a year ago that we saw what we think was the first of the large language models moving across our network. So it was a customer of ours who had five terabytes of data okay. in one hyperscale cloud provider. They provisioned a cloud router and were able to move that large language model from one cloud to another cloud within days. If they'd done it over the public internet, they would have had the security risks, right. substantial egress charges, and it would have taken them months. So, again, it's about being able to provide the enterprise's private connectivity, whether it be between on-premise and cloud, but also, in our case, with cloud router, from cloud to cloud. From cloud to cloud. Yeah. So, you're moving things. I know. We're trying to work. Five terabytes. What are they it's moving? Yeah. And then realize, okay, it's probably a large language model. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And the security there is critical. Completely private network, guaranteed bandwidth. Exactly. Well, you guys are doing great things. Thank you. So thank you for all that you do for the community here. And uh, is there anything else that you'd like to add today? Not at all. I think okay. that's it. Well, thank you for providing such great insights into Console Connect and everything that you're doing from IoT to uh, moving terabytes from cloud to cloud, <laughs> keeping everything secure, a wonderful partner ecosystem. And... Um, it's great to see you again here at PTC 2024. And Paul, thanks again. And for our viewers tuning in, stay curious, stay connected, and happy networking.